is a New York comedian just that good. New York comedian who's in Australia appearing in his play Mind in the Waters. Hmm. Yeah, that's it. And uh, this act must be good because his mother, his own mother, is flying here to see it. Please welcome Lee Ross. Thank you. I like to wear rib condoms inside out because I'm selfish. <laughs> Stud. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the guys are just going, whoa. Actually, it uh, sort of looks like something you might see on one of these Jacques Cousteau undersea programs. Hello. My name is Jacques Cousteau. Today we are on Body Calypso looking at the giant condom fish. <laughs> the giant condom fish can grow up to 22 inches. 29 if it is black. <laughs> the giant condom fish can disguise itself in many different ways. Today we found this particular condom fish disguising itself as Lionel Richie. Say you. Say me. Kimosabi. Kimosabi. A white man. I'll do that in slow motion for those of you who have missed it at home. week on That's Incredible. <laughs> and I hope those grandmas at home are watching. <laughs> quiet, please. Quiet, quiet. John McEnroe. John McEnroe. About to serve. are just going, whoa, deja vu. <laughs> and finally, my impression of your favorite horror film. <gasps> funny man who's been on the show before and we're very pleased to have him back again he's our next guest he's just back from LA where he's been performing would you please give a big welcome to New York comedian Lee Ross
Thank you. <laughs> Everybody's just sitting there going, Good to be here, thank you. Um, that was a bit of mime. A bit of mime, yes. That's how I got my start in comedy. Doing mime in New York. I used to wear the white face, though. Got a little too expensive, though, to uh, maintain. <laughs> Actually, I was a little afraid a junkie might try and snort my face off. <sighs> a lot of people like that little little walk there. It's like, oh, Michael Jackson. <laughs> I like doing this in the airport. <laughs> Next to that conveyor belt. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> People are like, hey, got your own. <laughs> also, you can't be a mime unless you can uh, hang yourself. And uh, it's this illusion I like doing, uh, like doing this at parties. <laughs> when everybody's taking like two hits of acid. <laughs> but what I've, I've noticed the most is that you don't necessarily use mime in your own personal life all that often. Rarely do we take the time to like actually use mime in life. The only time is when you're in a big argument with your partner in your relationship. It's like, because I had an argument with my girlfriend and she, was, she like used mime. She went, <gasps> I was like, oh, that's what you mean. Yeah, I don't know. Relationships are kind of frustrating. I sort of, you know, because first it starts off with all these nice little things that we say to one another. It's like, honey, can you get the tea? A couple of months down the line, it's more like, shithead, the bread's on fire. <laughs> Sometimes you ask, uh, I, I sometimes think, I don't want to be in this anymore. No, 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 I think I'm going to go kill myself, yeah. And uh, I went to the bathroom, started looking around, and all I could see was dental floss. <laughs> I thought, yeah, I'll kill myself with dental floss. <laughs> and I, I figured out it would go something like this. <laughs> <laughs> 